Sorry, Danny. Oh, 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 oh. that's a fish. <laughs> Over the past few years, we have set ourselves a mission to uncover what lives in small ponds across the UK. Right, it's second. Yes! Some are well maintained, while others are polluted or even completely devoid of life. He's cuddling with Flat the brain. brain. But in this video, we're bringing you one hour and 16 minutes of non-stop pond hopping action, as we discover that these venues often hold some of the best fishing action out there. Yes! In, 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 in. Oh, come on. I got one. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Oh. 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 <laughs> Off he goes. It's like the hottest day of the year. I'll take this off already. Oh, you've probably seen a lot of stuff that you didn't want to see there. No, it's cut off. It's so cut off. You're good. Good. That's fine. Do you know what I've learned is the fact that if you copy Danny, you catch fish. So I'm also using a feeder with the same bait, same setup, everything. Oh, the tiniest carp in the world. Oh my God, he's so cute. Put a big pellet on so it avoids the small ones, I said. <laughs> Whoa, babe. <laughs> PB for the new smallest carp I've ever caught. Hopefully we can catch some bigger ones than that. When you, when you said, oh, that's a bite. Oh, that is a bite. Sure. Okay, it's bigger than the last one. Is it? It's sure. Feeling a bit more carpy. Wow, babe. <laughs> Smashing all the PBs today. That's massive. Hold it right out. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Much better. I've not had anything. Danny's had two fish and I've, I've literally had nothing. So I think it's time to change my spot and hope for a little bit of a bigger fish. I'm hoping we don't catch these little things the whole time. They kind of look like they've spawned. Like that's, that's a spawn of potentially bigger fish in here. I'm hoping we can get onto that. Maybe fish feeder fishing isn't the way forward. I couldn't let Danny outfish me, so I decided to bait up an area next to a snaggy margin. Oh, oh gosh. I'm getting too old for that. <laughs> right, spot's baited. The lake's pretty murky. So I'm thinking a piece of corn might be better hoping that this theory actually works. Perfect. This is it now. This is the cast that's going to catch me a fish. That's about perfect, I would say. I'm getting delirious staring at this. I'm thinking I'm getting a bite and I just don't know if it's like the little breeze of wind. Oh, oh, come on. Yes, no! <laughs> you lost it. <sighs> this is kind of insane fishing in terms of our location. Like, the house behind us is massive. Kind of a dream lake if you was to own this and you're a carp angler or any type of fisherman, this would be paradise. It's big enough to hold some nice fish in it. There's some parts of the lake that I think go to five, six foot. So yeah, that's the goal in life right here. <laughs> Got a little way to go. So you've got to subscribe so then we can do more videos like this. But instead of somebody else's mansion, it could be our own mansion. Isn't that right? Damn right. Damn right. This isn't fair. <laughs> this isn't fair. It works on your tactic though, a piece of um, corn. Oh, great. But I'm not catching anything. Hey. I just needed to feel it to feel what a cart felt like. 
Right, now I've got the inspiration. It's my turn to catch carp. Oh, oh. Yes. Come on. Oh my God, I'm in. We've got a fish. Why does this feel like the smallest fish in the world? Oh my God, it's not even a carp. It's a roach. Really? We're not after roach, we're after carp. Not what I wanted. Oh, oh, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in again. Oh, is this a roach or is it, this feels roachy again. Oh, actually, oh no, 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 this is carpy. This is carpy. Could this be my first carp? Oh, it is, it's a carp, it's a carp. Well, I wasn't having the best of luck. On the other hand, I'd spotted some fish near a bed of lily pads, so I stole Callan's rod and I decided to try my luck on the surface. What a ghosty, stole my rod, standard. Oh, oh Danny, that was so cool. That was so cool. That's a nicer one. Yay! <laughs> nice. That was worth it. Good angling, babe. See, it wasn't happening. Went for a walk, spotted him, got the bread out. Admittedly, on your rod, <laughs> it's fine. So I thought I'd put the feeder rods down and get the surface rod out because I saw something in the reeds. Suck like a piece of bread on. We had a fishy on, in like three seconds. It was so quick. So quick, so definitely time to pack the feeder rods away, get the proper carp rods out, start going for the even bigger ones. I have had enough with feeder fishing, so I'm gonna go back to the car and get my carp rods. Probably set up over there so I can fish the bay and sit behind alarms and stay because I'm lazy. Right, now we can access the bay a bit more, which is really handy. <sighs> and I bought Danny's rods because I'm so nice. Danny decided to stay for a few more casts and yep, landed another one. Yeah. You been having fun, too much fun with the swan. <laughs> I've been getting them feeding over here in this corner. Are you going to come join me now? <laughs> Why, are you getting jealous? Yes. <laughs> well done. Showing you up again. The move to the bay gave us more access to cast in likely looking carp spots. The bait chosen was two pieces of fake corn, hooked onto a parcel of boily crumb and pellet in hopes to entice a passing fish. It's like the first proper day where it's been like actually quite nice. Yeah. Like I could have seen myself in shorts for at least a whole 30 minutes. <laughs> what else have we been doing? We went to SA, made oh, a video we on came, SA. Yeah, we came back from South Africa, what, a couple months ago? Yeah. That was amazing. Oh my God, I've never been to South Africa before, but 
I would definitely go back. Yeah, I we think had a we're wicked time. Need to start planning our next trip because it comes around so quickly. Now that was awesome, and you guys need to watch that if you haven't because we had such a good time. Uh, the fishing well. wasn't as good because we didn't really go for the fishing. It was just an really added have bonus. Time. There was really no time to put decent work into fishing. I saw a koi earlier. In this lake? Yeah. No way. Yeah, I saw a koi. <laughs> Why didn't you catch it? Because I'm just not catching fish today. <laughs> it's, I just didn't want to. No. Couldn't be bothered. Didn't fancy it? Nah. Can't fish I is really for losers. Want, when we were surface fishing over there and I saw that really gold one. I wish that one came off on my piece of bread. You're doing well. I'm doing terrible. We I'm, do need I'm to... I'm trying so hard. You're not even trying. I'm trying. You're not trying. <laughs> it doesn't feel like you're trying anyway. I'm ch it's the chill. You haven't even boat. got a rod out. Damn it. I can't not catch. I have to catch. I was getting a little impatient at this point and with the light fading, it was time to move yet again in hopes that the other side of the lake would produce some fish. Well, for me that is. I just want to see for myself a carp on the bank. I also want to know what's in here. And we're seeing so many swells, but just nothing is biting. And we'll catch this fish, I promise. Well, kind of promise. Danny keeps having luck on the surface. I think she's taking a rest now which enables me to give it a go. And I see some swells right in front of me. Bread fell off. I said at the start, copy whatever Danny does. And that was my plan. Hooking on a piece of bread properly this time and cast us some swells I'd seen. Come down to the far end. I'm trying to keep my voice really quiet because there's quite a few carp down here. I just want to fish now. I'm seeing loads of swells. Oh, 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 that's close. That's close. A little bit further. There's like two down there. He's coming towards us. He's coming, oh, 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 oh. He hasn't eaten it. Yeah. No, he hasn't, no, he hasn't. Now he has. Yes! Yes! That was so cool! Finally I hooked into one! What a cool way! That was amazing! It, it, it. There we go! Yay! Well I finally did it! I caught a carp! Way later than what Danny did. But I don't think the mystery's over yet. And there could be bigger fish in here, but we'll have to wait and see and potentially come back at a later date. The Millionaire's Pond was a great starting point, but this time we wanted to be able to spend a few nights at one, so we made our way to a fishing lodge. We're staying at a place called Poacher's Perch. It's one of the cabins they've got on site. And apparently it's completely private fishing for when you stay here and it's you kind of got the lake to yourself with the other guests. So let's reveal. Go on, open it. Ooh. I'm getting in that. All right, should we go inside? Yeah, let's go have a look. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad for fishing, <laughs> is it? I'm excited. This should be fun. Get the rods out at night. We can literally sleep in a nice bed. We're going to just try and catch as many fish as possible in this lake in 48 hours. Our first task was to get the fishing gear organized as quickly as we could. Well, for some of us. Making sure to keep as focused as possible. The issue is the run to the rods. <laughs> you, <laughs> you would fall from the top straight onto one of these stones on your kneecap. I did that in... And then roll Wait, where did I did do that? Oh, I did that on did the canal. That, yeah. Bro, bro. Grab it. <sighs> Who's catching first? I think I'll catch first, but I, I, I don't think it'll be anything special. I think Danny will probably come in with the special fish. I think mine, I'm calling it, mine's gonna be a roach and it's gonna be like that big. 
we targeted a different species for the first day. I went for carp and bream while Callan concentrated on catching smaller fish like rudd and roach. Fish? Oh, there was a fish. Oh, whoa. fish. Fish. I was right. A roach. <laughs> well, you're off the mark with a beast. Goodbye. Oh, oh my goodness. Good one bream for you, one roach for me. Well done, babe. Breamy. It's only going to get bigger from here. Oh, did it just throw on you? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's a, that's a much bigger one. Oh my gosh. Now that is a sizable one. With our first feeder session over, I ticked off Rudd and Danny had found the bream hole. I think I'm going to pack the feeder gear away now because the cart rods might take slightly longer to set up and get ready for the evening so we can have our rods out all night and be in the little hut for the evening and yeah, just chill out a little bit. I concentrated on getting my rods out for the evening as I always need more time than Danny. Lovely jubbly. I don't even know where I'm going with this second rod. I actually haven't got a clue. Bacon chip night. Imagine I got a run now. Mm. I'd actually be well sad. Disgusting. That's going in as well, by the way. <laughs> I'm not editing that out. This is how we put the jacuzzi on. We're using wood to heat it up. Very, it smells amazing. Hopefully that is enough. Ow! To keep it alight. With our bellies full, it was time to get my rods out for the evening. Working as a team to make the process a little quicker, as there was a jacuzzi waiting for us. She's baiting a spot over there. We would wash in line and it would be amazing, but there is so much wildlife that flies through here, ducks and um, geese that kind of just fly through this path. So it's not worth risking, it, but it does mean Danny's gonna lower her rig in rather than casting and maybe getting it buried in something. Oh, it's like... It's hit the max. <laughs> it's hit it's probably like six. Max temperature. Oh, that's too hot. How are you sitting down? That is so good. It told, it told us not to get in at 40 degrees because it's really bad. And we have now got in over 40 degrees. <laughs> I think I might faint. Is that hot? I hope you're not just like cooking yet. <laughs> we are cooking. That's exactly what we're doing. Fish? Yeah. It's a bream. Fluffin' bream. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just cast in the dark. Yay! After catching a few bream, we realised that casting from the cabin was our best option, and to avoid them would require larger baits. Millionaire shark. Zillionaire. Zillionaire. Oh my god, imagine if we were a zillionaire. Well, we had a really nice, comfortable sleep last night. However, in true English style this morning, it's raining. Great, hopefully it clears up. The weather eventually did clear up and we were back to the feed of fishing business. I'll tell you what, it's probably the first time I've ever fished somewhere that is so blue. Of course, they dye the lake this color. And I think it's to stop the weed because it had massive weed problems um, a few years ago. We're gonna try this island now, today. Give that a go, see what there is to offer. Hopefully there is some bream 
I can't believe I'm saying that. That's probably the first time I've said, hopefully there's some bream. <laughs> Do you mind? That's our maggots. Getting them awake. I'll bet you a scratch card that your next fish is a bream. Deal. Watch it be like a 20 pound carp on the feeder. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry if it is. Well, it's not really happening for us right now. I, I, I don't really understand. We're getting small knocks, but I think it's just by really small fish. I don't know if the bream are active around here. And well, Danny's not catching roach or rud or anything. But back at the cabin, it was pretty wild and pretty good fishing yesterday. So maybe we take a walk around with a stalking rod, see if we can find a carp and then head back to the cabin. Oh, whoa, there's yes. loads of chub. Oh. You have to be quiet, no messing up. We've literally just spotted like a whole load of chub, like the entire family of chub that I've lives in seen here. That many all in one, one area. Yeah, let's get them feeding and see what happens. We might have to come back to this spot. The bird life has actually destroyed our spot. All of the chub have just disappeared. Luckily enough, we spotted some carp feeding further down the lake and had to give it a go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at the bend in it. That is fighting really hard, actually. I have to come over here, sorry. Oh, babe, it's, it's actually a good one. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, it's a good one. And it's just going. Yeah, that's a nice fish. No. Snagged in the belly. No. Goodbye. Oh, damn it. I'm actually quite gutted. That would have been a proper cart to get me off the mark, but clearly not. I was pretty disheartened at this point, but Danny was in her element. Oh, come on. Yeah? Oh, whoa! Oh, my God! <laughs> that was insane! It like, just went whoa. Whoa. Of course, the fish was hooked perfectly this time, and it wasn't a bream like I hoped for. Mate, it was so cool. I'll bet you a scratch card that your next fish is a bream. Okay, deal. I lost the bet. Don't know if you remember. You should have had more faith in me. There you go. Well deserved. Back to my heading hole. Well, I think we know where the carp are now. The oxygenated water is probably what's keeping them here. And the good thing is we can cast to this spot from our cabin. So I think it's probably best to try for other species like the chub, roach, green, to get those ticked off because we can easily fish for these carp overnight. No chub left, I can't see any. We really had a chance at the chub and we didn't get it. I never thought I'd say this, but I was determined to catch a bream. My eyes are going funny staring at the tip. Oh, I think I'm in. I'm in. Oh, I come off. Danny, it come off. And it felt like a bream. Oh, please be a roach. Nice. Are you sure this isn't a rudge? Everyone double check and confirm. <laughs> I've got something. Oh my gosh, if it's a rud, we are in the money, babe. Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's really happening now. We're just ticking them off the list as we go. That was two minutes apart. Oh, what a beast. <laughs> Ticked off the list, I guess. Sorry, Danny, sorry, but I have a fish. There is a so fish, no way. Oh. Danny, oh, it's a bream. Danny, it's a bream, it's a bream, it's a bream. Don't panic, don't panic. Could this be the moment of truth, guys? 
It's a big bream. Look at the size of it. Yes. It took me a little while, but I, I caught a bream. It's actually quite a slab, to be fair. They're just horrible creatures. I don't know. I just don't like them very much. But in this challenge, kind of difficult for me for some reason. Oh, it's so disgusting. Oh, no, no, no. Breamney, that's what they call it. I mean, I'm really happy. It means I don't have to fish for bream anymore. Oh, look at these hands. Right, you want to feel these hands? No. Listen. Bream slime. We did it though. <laughs> High five? No, I'm good. No. I was going oh, okay. through the... I'm going to wash my hands. At this point, I had actually completed the challenge. I was just waiting on Callan, as per usual. He still needed a carp and a roach. I thought I'd find you at the jacuzzi, my darling. Is it that time? To be honest, I don't blame Danny for wanting to go in there. It feels really nice, actually. And yeah, we've just been fishing all day, so a jacuzzi wouldn't hurt, would it? I am gonna get the carp rods out though first, of course, and then I'm gonna chill, knowing that my rods are fishing and that I'm fishing. 14 and a half. That was good. We like that. Regardless of the challenge, we were having a blast and it was the fishing getaway we needed. The lodge was comfortable and our rods were out, hoping for one last surprise before leaving. All I had is bream in the night, babe, on your rod, but someone was sleeping, so I dealt with it. But what I didn't tell you is there is actually a carp in the slink down there. And it's beautiful. My rod. On your rod. <laughs> that you didn't wake up for. I did actually call you and uh, there was no answer. Babe. Jesus, why is he so angry? Oh yeah. Oi. Hang on, let me unzip first before you look. And now you can look on what you missed out on. Oh my God. <laughs> really nice, but diddy. You didn't think it needed that big of a... Sling, no. You could have kept him in the sink. <laughs> what a really enjoyable weekend me and Danny have had. Fishing straight out the lodge. What more could you ask for? A roach. I would ask for a roach as that was the only fish that we both didn't catch. After unwinding at the lodge, winter was in full swing. And my friend Lewis suggested we try our luck at the local railway pond. As we can listen out right now. So that's going to be interesting for the audio. However, I've heard that there are some big perch in here. How many? I don't know. Maybe some carp. We shall see. Kind of an unknown one today. I'm looking forward to a day of fishing. It's carp showing, well, I think it's carp. Um, fish showing everywhere. So um, I think we are hopefully in for a good day. We got set up for a full day of fishing, not really knowing what to expect. The better our chances, we're actually fishing with three different methods. We've got some ground bait here. We've got some pellet, maggots, worms, the lot. And Lewis has a fish. Okay. It's a perch. Hey, buddy. You're off the mark. Oh, so there are some monsters in here. So. We are really going in on trying to catch a fish today and probably, hopefully, multiple species as well. Lewis has got exactly the same setup as me. We shall see. Yes, buddy. First of many to come, I think. We baited a pinch of maggots over the top of our spots each time we recast to hopefully entice more fish into feeding spells. <laughs> Damn it, I missed the bite. Oh no, still on. Fish, roach, big roach. That roach has cost me dearly. All these maggots wasted. Damn it. The pond seemed to have good numbers of fish within it for us to be having such consistent bites in winter. Oh, Lewis is in. Ah, oh, it's not as good as what I thought. 
roach catcher. <laughs> Bought like a 20 pound cart for a second. <laughs> oh, oh, yep. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, that's a proper nice little carp that is. <laughs> Look how stunning this little fish is. Really lovely mirror. Let's get back and hopefully we'll catch some more. That is a cool fish. Off he goes. Oh, oh that water is so cold. What time did we get up? We got up, well, I woke up at 4.45. <laughs> Snaz. I never go to fish at five o'clock in the morning. Unless I'm working, like, <laughs> you don't catch the wake and bait squad out until nine, absolute earliest. <laughs> I usually turn up about one and wonder why I don't catch. And the missus is just like, did you catch? And I'm like, no. <laughs> it's, not about the, it's not about the fish, it's not about the fish. <laughs> I'd say myself and Lewis are pretty competitive towards one another. And I think it's because we get really close every time, whatever we do. For instance, FIFA, we're playing that last night and uh, well, I thrashed him, I think, a little bit. Oh. Boom. Get in there! 17 shots to seven! Well, you couldn't do any, it's only 2 0. This time round, but he also has thrashed me before in the past. And it's the same with fishing. Sometimes he does really well, and sometimes I do well. So we always have a little side quest challenge, and today's challenge is. Most impressive fish wins. Pretty simple. And I think what we'll do is let the comments decide which fish they think is best. I'm fishing with literally the most simplistic rig going today. It's doing me all right so far. Bunch of maggots on a hook, in line, maggot cage. That's it. Jeez, that's massive. Would you eat it for a tenner? Not a tenner, no. Sorry. 20 quid. Mm, nah. The clicks, man. The views. <laughs> the like, clicks, you, man. You'd eat that. Nah. The views. Nah. You don't want to go viral? You can. No. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, it's preying on something. It's a lot bigger than my last one. Get in that net. Nice. This carp does not want to play ball. Bro. Bro, mate, have you just told me like the coolest fishing location ever? Two fish in the space of like an hour. Normally it takes me all day to catch one little tiddler. You packing up and going home? I'm packing up. <laughs> I'm going to the other side of the lake. If you don't come you back soon. with a cart, by the way, that's really sad. I know. Well, good luck, my friend. I hope you catch. Maybe I get it over there because without losing my maggots. <laughs> See you soon. See you in a bit. So I'm currently, currently blanking pretty hard, to be honest with you. So um, I'm not really sure where to go with my tactics. And um, the only thing I do have is a, a float, a few method feeders, and a load of maggots, over and out. Tell you what, it's been actually really nice to just get out, feel the fresh air. It's a little bit warmer than usual, still kind of cold but maybe that's helped the fish in it's just warmed up that little bit and well recently we've just been blanking me and danny have been going to so many different places last video we posted we only just about caught right at the end so to catch straight away i'm, I'm already happy my day is made no they're not huge fish but for a pond this size they are pretty decent sized fish nobody knows about this place it's in the middle of nowhere Whilst the feeder fishing was good, we heard rumours of a five pound plus perch. So I decided to take a walk around with a drop shot, hoping to tempt one. When the perch are on it, drop shotting is probably up there on one of my favourite ways to fish. However, it's also my worst ways to fish if I'm not catching anything because it is so tedious. After an hour of casting, we decided it would be best to go back to our original spot as this seemed the most productive. Whoa. Oh, 
<laughs> oh no! Fish! New species! I just slipped over in the mud for a rad. Fantastic. <laughs> Does that sum up the session, Lewis? So. <laughs> Well, I think that's probably my PB rud, I'm not going to lie. I know it's not massive, but <laughs> I don't target rud at all, ever. Oh, my bum just got well wet. Oh no. So now it's muddy and wet. Whee! You're swimming the wrong way, dude. This way. There we go. We were back to catching again, but only small roach and rud. And with Lewis not catching anything bigger than his finger, we tried our best to find some of the larger residents. We've not got much longer left. And uh, Lewis just seems to catch roach, so I'm hoping that... <laughs> caught so many roach. I've only ever caught about three roach before. <laughs> In my life. And you've like... And I've just only caught roach. Fishing is the one thing in life that makes me feel like a complete wally. <laughs> you know? I ate my breakfast at about, what time was that? It's like seven uh, Yeah, o'clock. seven o'clock. I was eating my lunch by ten. <laughs> and now you're ready for dinner by no, three. I'm starving. <laughs> if, you were, if you were a decent angler, you could have done better. Better? Yeah. I'm Says the one on 27 roach. I admit, I'm not the best angler, but <laughs> you do this stuff for a job. <laughs> oh, 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 that's a fish. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your day, is it, Lewis? No. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, go on, go on. Oh, we're on a fish. Yes. We're on a fish. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Are you done? I don't know what to say. Oh. Yes, mate. This has been... You've had an alright day. And I've just had an absolute shocker. Well, it's been a good day overall. I've enjoyed getting out. Less cold than usual. And catching a few fish. Just not roach. The next spot I discovered on Google Maps, which seemed a bit neglected. Just the kind of place we love, as it is a true mystery what you might end up catching. I found a new partner in crime today. We got Josh with me. Danny is working at the moment. We've come to some forgotten little pond. We know that there's carp in here because we saw them just earlier. So we thought we'd start on the whip instead. Don't want to catch carp. I'm going to catch Tiddler first. <laughs> got to start off small. Yeah, start off small. Small things come in good packages. No, good packages come in small things. I, I, I butchered that. <laughs> Josh and I wasted no time in getting ourselves prepared for the most intense tiddler bashing competition we had ever faced. You're really coming in hard with the tiddler bashing today. I, I, I think I'm prepared. <laughs> I am prepared. Do you know what? I think you're the most prepared because you're wearing a wake and bake hat. That's what makes you... Yeah, yeah, it's that's the hat. it. Yeah, it's the, it's the hat. hat you want, it's the hat you need. Exactly. We started off whip fishing because we don't actually know if there are big fish in here or not. Can you shut up? I'm trying to record. I think I've seen a sizable fish, but it could have been my eyes deceiving me. Why do they decide to do this now? What do we reckon? What do we reckon spawning out our baits? No? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe a bit later we could get 12 foot out and put a spot or two over the top. Spod and then a uh, bait boat might be needed. Oh, I just can't that? hook them. Oh, I hooked my float. Excellent angling there, Callan. You like float fishing, don't you, Josh? I grew up float fishing, I love it. I... There, there is a skill to it, which a lot of people don't appreciate. No, there is, and I appreciate it, because I really don't like float fishing. <laughs> However, I know it's normally the best way to catch it. See, look, look how many times I've hooked my float and how many times you haven't hooked your float. I was going to say, I haven't once yet. Yeah, I've hooked it already three times. We should have bought a keep net. We could have seen. Oh, Josh, it's just so easy, mate. What have you been doing? Oh, 
Fish. Bigger than my one. Bloody hell, the camera saw that pretty quick. <laughs> of course it's bigger than your one, I caught it. It's because you're in the prime territory. Right, here we go. Oh no, see, this is the same size. You're just not catching them, like I am. I just caught one. Not like I am. Oh mate, look, whilst baiting up as well. One hand in the Don't know, they're pot. very similar sizes. Kiss. You didn't get a kiss, buddy. I thought you were nervous playing that one in, mate. That was, that was nerve wracking stuff. Pressure's on when you know you've got a monster. PB of a lifetime type thing. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the wind took that. Violated. Do you know what though? It's lucky you was wearing your wake and bait yeah, hat because that just saved you. Uh, see, it's not just to protect the sun, it's to protect you from Josh. Casting. <laughs> got a big carp under your throat. Like, really? honestly, mate, mate, mate. Leave it there. Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't know how they're getting oh. out. Oh, that's biggest God. of the day. That has to be biggest. That is day. biggest of the day so far, oh, 100%. Wow, look at that beauty. Wow, we're really getting the big ones now, aren't we, Josh? Yeah. Whoa. We have seen some carp though, and they were much bigger than this fish. So I think it might be time to pack this whip away and go for the bigger ones. Let's get them out there. Yeah. Oh, look, there's your lunch, Josh. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll pass on them ones, thank no. you. Okay. No, I'm not full of pellets. Oh, I will have. Um, what are you gonna eat? I've got a ham sandwich. It's actually quite dry, I'm not going to lie. I've I did... got Lucasade. Oh! And some bread. You didn't bring lunch. And I don't need it, this is lunch. Look, or just... two slices of bread. Yeah. Cut it in half. Okay, you didn't even cut it, you're, you're tearing it. Look, there's my sandwich. What's wrong with that? <laughs> lunch. Cheers. Mine's not that much better. <laughs> You can't slack my door, look at that. Mmm. I no, it's not mmm. I got four slices of ham in my sandwich. I've got two slices of bread in my sandwich, no butter. Are you using <laughs> our surface fish in bread? Yeah. <laughs> I felt left out, I wanted lunch. I'm actually gonna set my rod up now whilst we eat. I like it how we both got six foot rods as well. Oh, Quite cool. Six foot rods, six foot tackle bags. Right, we're looking very suave. Well, I finished my lunch. So I think it's only right that we get fishing again. And yeah. for these big ones. Let's get them out there. Yum. Josh is going to have a little chill. And I'm going to try and stalk out either a big carp or a crucian in the woods. ate the whole thing and it just came out of his mouth. No, I think it might be time for a move. And I think it's my time to leave this spot, honestly. It became apparent that surface fishing wouldn't be the suitable approach to lure these cautious carp. A fresh location and tactic were in order to improve our chances of catching them. Right, the little rods are going away in the car. Now, I'm gonna try and go after some bigger fish. We shall see. Quite a cool location, this. It's 
surrounded by houses in like a public little pond that you can go fish for free. There was actually a much larger pond just around the corner, so we decided it was time for a move to try our luck there instead. Oh, I nearly just snapped my six foot. Come on, Mr. Guru, we need your inspiration. What are you, what are you tying up? I'm gonna go for a bit of a heli setup. So much weed on the other lake, so I think if we can give ourselves something to get above the weed, probably have to a nice wide lay, small pop up. See if we can get something out like that. I've got another rig here tied up, Ronnie rig, but I've got a nice long shank twister just to get again above the weed. It's so weedy in that lake. Big long boom, so if it does need to sit up over it, just everything to get around the weed. This lake has not produced us really anything and we've only seen one car. The other lake seems to be better, even though this is bigger, we saw more in the other lake. Maybe it's worth a move back to there and just try our luck. Currently though, I am doubtful that we're gonna catch a fish. Despite spending several hours surface fishing, our efforts equaled no reward. It was time to redirect our attention back to the first pond where we had noticed some larger fish earlier on in the session. So we moved yet again. Just a little bit of gear, mate. Where did you to go? Again, for the third time. <laughs> you look hot. <laughs> and yeah, burn. Get this off. Yeah, I didn't bring the sun cream, did I, today? <laughs> you look so gangster with your hat. That's how you should wear it. Wow. Whoa. Raw, mate. Yeah. Let's catch the fish. I didn't realise I had two pairs of glasses on just then. <laughs> Twice the effect. Exactly. effect. It's just like extra polarisation. Whoa. Carp anglers just don't know the real tricks. <laughs> this pond is definitely forgotten because you can barely present a rig. There's so much weed. I don't know if I'm presented or not right now currently but we're dying for a fish now, like a sizable one. The roach, yeah, it was fun, but we've literally seen some bigger ones in here and just can't catch them. I came so close. <sighs> Might have to come back another day and fish it and try again. That seems like our only option because light is slowly fading. A few weeks later, I made my return to the Forgotten Pond. This time though, the majority of the carp had gathered tightly against the corner of the larger lake. I quickly grabbed my stalking rod and free-lined a small piece of bread, hoping that this time the carp were on the feed. And I would actually strike the rod at the right time. Another one. He's proper snagged up. It nailed my bait. It nailed it. I can't believe we've caught one from this tiny little pond. And it's giving me a right scrap. Come on. Come on. Yes! We've done it! We've done it! Ah, oh, yes. Well happy. I've just steamed my glasses up by doing that. 
caught a bit of a bigger fish from this old forgotten pond and I saw there was a couple more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a couple more bigger fish in here. So maybe we'll come back another time and try for those, but I'm happy. We then planned a visit up to Sheffield to meet our friends Jake and Ash, who are the local pond fishing specialists and were happy to be our guides for the next 24 hours. It's cracking fish, whatever it is. How many you had then? 20? At least zero. At least zero. <laughs> That's good going, that is. It's like boggling up. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> that looks rubbish. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> Well, we're right in the centre of like a, a state right now and there's just this beautiful little pond. Don't really know what's inside of here. Ash has told us that there is definitely tench, but other than that, it's a little bit of a mystery to me. Here we're going to start off with the feeder gear, maybe some pellet, maggots, see what's in here. But this is a time trial. We need to get to as many ponds as possible. We kind of got to weigh it up, whether we stay here for a while or we move on. We got our rigs out with some questionable ground bait, ready for a full day of pond hopping. First location of this pond is actually very pretty. Now, we don't really get this around our area where we live. It's kind of just syndicate waters or day ticket waters. Not much free pond scenarios. And it is really nice. There's a load of kids fishing around, learning how to fish. There's us noddies fishing right here, not catching. Yeah, it's actually quite a nice setting. I'm enjoying it a lot, apart from the fact that we're not actually catching anything. One thing I've noticed today, going up north already, is that they speak another language. I don't really know some of the stuff they say. Uh, it just kind of goes right over my head and I have to like try and translate it myself to Danny for her to understand as well. They say out a lot, like caught out. The first venue was tricky. Seeing that nobody else was catching either, I turned to float fishing. What has it come to already? <laughs> Which of course produced nothing. I don't think we can sit here for much longer. We've been here for a little while now and neither of us are catching and time is kind of of the essence today. Plus the GoPro is getting so hot, I can't even put it on because it's just overheating. So I think it's time for a change. Hopefully we can go somewhere that has somewhat of some shade because here there's absolutely none of it. Is that a plan? That's a plan. Yeah? Yeah, I'm ready for change. All right, I'm off on to the next spot. We gotta go, go, go. We knew this pond hopping challenge was going to be a tiring one, and this was just the first of many to come. Okay, let's go. Especially as 12 hours prior, we had just landed back in the UK from our getaway in Malta, where we also struggled to catch and got super unlucky with the weather. Okay, where's the pub? <laughs> For real. There's trains on the road and we are on the same road. I've never seen that. I've never seen that. That is so weird. <laughs> There's actually a railway track on the road. Where's the other train? Are we waiting for the train? Look, here's the we're, train. We're literally, this is the train stop. And then there's another track. The tram just comes back on the road. <laughs> what is this? Is this, am I in the wrong lane again or what? No, no, no that can't be this I, I am so confused with this place. Just arrived at the next pond. This one is quite busy with anglers. However, Danny is getting her rod set up as we speak. There is no stopping her when she sees carp on the top. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the rod out because I have to film, isn't it? This isn't the fishing assistant challenge, by the way. <laughs> yes, it is. Here you go. Thank you. I'll take it then. I'm going to. This pond looked way more promising. It's quite deep. And not so long later, I had a scream intake. Wow, look at that beast. Oh, it's massive, guys. Oh. It's really hard to get back into the fishing when you're missioning around and hop into each pond because one minute you're running around, packing the car, filming everything, and then as soon as you get to casting and waiting, you have to be patient. And that's where I struggle, especially fishing on the bottom. 
two harpies swimming straight past my bread. Oh, oh, yes, it's a roach. Go fishing, they said. It will be peaceful. Yeah. He's cuddling with Flat the brain. Brain. Actually, we are after the carp though, bud. I know, I am trying. You know what I mean? Trying. Like, we're not after yeah. bream. We've like... seen plenty, eh? but we've not caught none, have we? I'm getting loads of little knocks, but nothing big. And I'm watching people catch carp all over the place. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. We're all just blanking. Even Danny's not catching it, and that's how you know something's wrong. Hopefully, this next venue is good. Vamos, vamos, vamos. I think we'll go here, babe. Looks like a good spot. Oh, how am I stuck in a single hair in the ground? Oh my god. How? Out of everything, I got stuck on that. Got it. Fantastic. The day wasn't really going to plan. With two ponds down, we really hoped this would be the turning point. Unfortunately for us, we were met with yet another hurdle that would stop our fishing instantly. With a closer look at the reeds, the fish were spawning and there was no denying it. We had no choice but to leave them be, hoping that the last two ponds wouldn't be the same scenario as it was approaching that time of year. This is going to be a good spot. We're going to manifest it. We're going to, We're going to pray. pray to the fish gods. Yeah. Believe and you will achieve. That's what I've been told somewhere along the line. Maybe it'll work. Let's rock and roll, baby. So where do we put the bag? <laughs> We're in a hurry, bro. This time we are going literally bread, floaters, small amount of gear to try and nick a bite and then get onto the next venue. Well, now we're in a forest. This has been quite fun to see all the app. Ah, oh, I've lost my glasses. I've lost my glasses. <laughs> Where did they go? <laughs> this has been so frustrating, but also at the same time, really quite cool. We've been going to so many different little free ponds all over Sheffield. And yeah, I've been enjoying myself. But also, there's a lot of pressure to try and catch as many fish as possible. Apparently, they're on, they're on the surface here, so <sighs> let's see. You enjoying yourself, babe? Oh, I hate blanking. Got your serious face on, have you? I want to see my serious face. Ash, I want to see your serious face. Oh, that's a good one. I think I'm just going to yeet it out and hope for the best. Oh, 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 oh it's gonna happen. Right, this, right, this second. Yes, yes, a fish, a fish. Pond hopping, we are pond hopping. That is what we're doing. We're gonna catch some fish. This is, this is the turning point. All right, next pond. <laughs> there we go. We're finally off the mark from the pond hopping challenge with a tinsy little, but very beautiful mirror. Happy days. Oh, oh. It's gone. Whoa, whoa! Yes! There we go. Another free venue, little tiny miracle. We've got one question. Yeah? Why don't you take us here at the start? <laughs> Let's go. Rod's away. Next venue. I'm allowed a last cast. A last cast? <laughs> We've caught one from here. It's time to move. This is like the M&S version of eating like popcorn and waiting for somebody, but you're eating dried mango instead. I'm happy. I'm happy. Happy, not happy. 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 
Finally, the industrial pond produced us some fish, albeit smaller than expected. With one last pond to go, hopefully we would find something bigger. Oh, it was a definitely an interesting way to get here, but pond success. We made sure to stop off and grab the essentials for our urban overnighter. Chop chop, you, you in the way, you always stand where I'm looking at. That doesn't seem too healthy, lads. <laughs> oh, it's pretty healthy. Vegetarian, that, isn't it? Vegetarian? Oh, it's all right then. Sponsoring Wimbledon, so it's very healthy. Let's do this. Oh, oh, it's freezing. All right, let's get sorted and get the stuff. Oh my God, we've got so much gear to like take out to then put back in. It was a far walk to the next spot, so I had to show the guys how to pack a barrow the correct way. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Don't know about the getting down. Just letting go. Just let go. Do you mean just, just let, let go. go? No, don't just let go. If these come out, you are you're you're getting squished. Thank you. I'll edit that bit out. What a nightmare. That's what happens when you start pond hopping all the time. You just, uh, you get in a big rush. I'm just making excuses at this point, honestly. We're about to be fishing soon and eating some good munch. What could be better? Uh, what could be better? Seeing those northern lights tonight. Oh my gosh, if we see those, I'm going to lose my mind. This trip made me realise that fishing can take you to all sorts of weird and wonderful places. But honestly, the best part for me is sharing these experiences with others, which truly makes it special no matter where you are. Just had a little walk around the lake, looking at the pads, it seems that that's where the carp are at. I saw them all boshing around in there. So yeah, we're just going to munch dinner. I think Danny's almost done. And uh, enjoy the evening a little bit. Hopefully we can catch a carp. I was disappointed for Danny as she hadn't yet caught. She uses her only spare time to make these videos and to drive all the way to Sheffield and be blanking wasn't nice to see. One sauce and one fussy guy <laughs> with no sauce. Oh, well, look at that though, Oh, mate, that is actually really good. Oh, I've had to go back to the car yet again because I forgot my bite alarms and <laughs> we can't fish at night if we don't have bite alarms. That's in a bush. And that is a reed stem. <laughs> Good, it's a good start. Never claimed I was good at fishing. Time for bed. Yeah. Good night. Good night. See you on the flip side. See you in about 30 minutes with a big boy. Unfortunately, there were no bites in the night, but in the early hours of the morning, one of us was hauling. This is the second bite I've had. Oh my god. I lost the first one. I just heard a shout. Yeah, that's like, yeah. hey. Oh shit. You're smashing it up, bro. And that is another lovely common. It seemed that most of the action was coming from the right hand side of the pond and both mine and Danny's rods were silent. Walking back. Oh, come on baby, out we come. Hello. <laughs> Yes! Sorry for the rude awakening, babe. Oh, come on. Hey, 
Wait, that's a nice one, that is. Oh, yep, 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 yep. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Literally about to fill my fish, and now you've got one. Well, how about that? A brace of carp, <laughs> a common and a mirror to end the video off. We've had a good time pond hopping. Been a bit of a mission, hasn't it? It has, but it's paid off. It paid off in the end. Nice, good job. Lastly, our friend Shane hit us up to visit his local caravan park pond. He sent us some pictures of the place and we just couldn't ignore it, especially as we had the chance to catch a whole range of colorful fish. So we're going to do what we do best and we're going to try to surf this fish. <laughs> the challenge is catch the carp in both ponds, one of them out of all the carp we catch today. Hopefully there's more than one carp or any at least has to be a koi. Okay. Yeah, okay. let's do it. I've realized you've still got your wake and bait hat on. <laughs> yeah, forever. <laughs> Payment envelope in here. Oh, you get a ticket. One, two, five. Keep the ticket though. Oh yeah, I need the ticket. You can tell I haven't done this before. Oh my goodness. So I need to keep this in my wallet like we paid, right? The weather forecast predicted it to be a bright sunny day and with carp already visible on the top, our best and also favorite option was to try our luck surface fishing. And before we knew it, one of us was already in. I wonder who. Oh my gosh. Oh, you got fish. Oh my <laughs> God, no way. No way, oh my. <laughs> that is minuscule. That is the tiniest carp I've ever caught in my life. Did you see that? Yeah. I was reaching down for the pillars, playing this beast. Oh, belly flop. It wasn't the biggest fish, but it was a start. As long as Callan and I kept fishing effectively, we'd surely get amongst the bigger ones. Oh, okay, that's gone. Worms are over there, but my hook is not. Really, how big is this thing? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's not even a carp. Look at that. How greedy can you get? We've been fishing for like four hours and I've caught one roach. Look, look at them come out of the nest like If I ate that much, I'd be seriously fat. Mirror, mirror on the wall. You are gonna eat that. Oh, here we go, Danny. Here we go. Oh. This close. I don't even know if my GoPro was recording. It wasn't. It's good. I think you should hand it back to the professional. No, uh, um, and I'll hand. No. We're in the wrong roles here. You need to be filming. I need to be fishing. Look. One time. Yeah, one, one time, time and you blew boy. it. No. <laughs> I did not blow it. That was, everybody knows the first surface fishing bit, or well, the first strike is always timed badly. Now I know, I'm gonna time it all correctly. No. <laughs> they are so quick. I'm gonna time it all correctly. Inspiring quote for the day. Inspiring quote for the day. Patience is a virtue. That's quite difficult when you have none. Because when I want something I wanted yesterday. <laughs> The fish showed little interest in feeding, so our best chance was to shift our focus to the smaller pond, hoping they'd be more eager. Ooh, the white one's right there. Gotta be so stealthy. With the temperatures well over 30 degrees, it seemed like the carp just wasn't interested. And to be honest, I was struggling. <sighs> oh, man. I am really lightheaded as well. I need to drink some more water. How can I caravan pond get me this annoyed. Oh, ASMR. Are you going to join me from some tiddler bashing for a minute? Doing it without choice. Oh, as soon as it hits the water, they're all over it. See, this is so peaceful, right? Like sitting here, Birds are cheeping, fishing, there's no one around. But then... <laughs> Can't even tie this. So hidden. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> My butt! So 
sounded like you liked that. <laughs> no, I didn't. Ah, look what's on. <laughs> <laughs> right, first cast, here we go. Cheer myself up because honestly, I'm done. Could, why is your rod next to my rod? You go on your side. This is my side. It's not your side. Get your own bench. Fish. Fish. <sighs> not the fish I want. Yes, I got one. He's pretty orange. That's a weird fish. Goodbye. I'm ready to get fishing again. Good luck, because with your voice, you ain't catching anything for a 10 mile radius. With the much needed Tiddler bashing morale booster, we were back at it again. Babe! I think Danny's in. I think Danny's in. You're just having me on? Oh uh, yeah, I'm just having you on. We knew we could count on you, didn't we? Oh yeah! Oh! Like four times he Whoa. tried to take my bait. Oh no, he is got to move that. Go on, babe. No. Yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, that was a hectic mission. Oh, I'm kneeling in the ant's nest again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. He's quite cool. Like I said from the beginning, if you stick at it, it pays off. And hard work definitely did pay off because we have been non-stop. We came to the smaller pond. We had to put some more hours in there because it is a bit more difficult than the first one. But we now need to go back to the first one to take one off in there. So let's do that. Let's get him back before it gets raining again. Off he goes. Let's get to shelter quickly. Oh my gosh, it's raining like heck. It's all fun and games catching these fish but it is about to, well, I say about to, it is hammering it down now. And I've got expensive camera gear out in the open. Go there actually, underneath that. That'd be a good shout. There's actually one thing that you've forgotten to do right now, and that is subscribe to our channel. We're trying to catch up to Snag Bro, and they are far away from us right now, but we can catch up as long as you subscribe and get your mates to subscribe and your mum and your dad and your granddad, everybody. They need to know about the Cow and Danny channel. I am out in the rain trying to catch a carp for you guys out of this pond, and there's two carp coming straight towards me and I'm gonna dink it on their heads. They don't care that it's raining, and neither do I now. They're competitively feeding. This is fantastic. I need to get in, in amongst them ASAP. ASAP, even the koi's feeding. Even the koi's feeding. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Missed. Missed, missed, missed. And now what, what, they just stop feeding? Typical. Now this is it. Cue the intense music right now. He ate the wrong one. The music intensifies. Ugh. Bugs on me. Look at them all. They're on it. Oh, I give up. How are they not hooking? Is it something to do with my hook or what? Like, this is ridiculous. Why are they not hooking? I've struck out so many flipping carp. It's sharp. What's going on? I got one. Danny, I got one. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's making crazy lunges now. He's in the reeds. Oh no. Oh, this is horrible. Come on. Out you go. Oh, no. oh. Uh, he's come, out. He's come, come out. out? Yeah, he's come out. Right, come on. Hey, he doesn't want to stop, bro. No. Come here. Come here now. Good. 
Come on. Come on, buddy. <sighs> oh. Here comes the rain again. <laughs> oh my God, ant's nest. Big ant's nest. <gasps> the rain was the blessing. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Finally, hallelujah. I think the otters might have got to him a little bit because of his tail, but effort does equal reward and I have to tell myself that every time. Hello, <laughs> he's trying to kiss my GoPro. Both lakes completed. Hope you did enjoy. I've flipping done it. Told you guys. Nice. I feel like, I feel satisfied. I feel like we did, did a thing. We did a thing. We did. <laughs> did a thing. What's the obsession? <laughs> This is the obsession, this pond. <laughs> Goodbye.